Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be going over how to display in our reports some quantity information, which may not already have been highlighted by the template we're starting in with VCAD. This of course can be done with any model. Now to do so, we want to go to the transform data section. Here we will see we have a zip CSV folder. We want to duplicate that and maybe uh, rename it to something a little more useful. Here we have all the extracted information that VCAD created in uh, processing the file. So we have this quantity element CSV, we can open it up and we can see we have a quantity value column. Now we want to make it a little more readable and normalize it. So first we select it and we want to uh, change the type to be a text. At this point, we want to replace the uh, dots with commas. So we can open it up, go to replace value, and tell it, again, uh, replace the dots with commas. Perfect. At this point, we can switch the type back, tell it it's a decimal number. And here we go. Now we can close everything up. Of course, save the changes. And now we only have to wait for Power BI to apply the changes made to the data set. Okay, now we can see Power BI is applying the changes to the data sets. We will see the report is uh, refreshed. We can clear the selection. And now we want to make some room in our report for our new information. So on the bottom left here, we can add a table, populate it, of course, with our new data. So for example, a uh, quantity category, a quantity name, quantity type. So we have some context. And then we can add the actual quantity value. We see here it's all uh, populated. And of course, it's already linked with the rest of the data. So if we select an element from the assets list, of course, uh, we want to select an element that has actual quantities. In this example that we have just selected, we don't have quantities. That's why we can't see uh, any information on the bottom left. But if we switch to, for example, uh, a beam, now we can, of course, as always, view it in a model where it's been highlighted. And then on the bottom left, we can see now we have a bunch of different quantities defined. So, for example, we have a net volume, we have length, we have a gross volume, and so on. This is a simple way to uh, achieve this visualization. Thank you for watching.